Tipo, welcome to Allshot Town. It was a bittersweet debut for you. Were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I was. I was really happy. You know, we played well. Good to get a goal on my debut. You know, so these lot, these players around here, they take some good lads over here. We work hard. Unfortunately about the result, but we just got again on Saturday. Yeah, and it, the disappointing result. Do you think the team should have got something from it? Definitely, definitely. First 10, 15, 20 minutes, we were at them. We had three, four chances we should have put away, but we just got to go again. Yeah, and your equaliser came at the perfect moment, we thought, but talk, talk us through it. It was an excellent cross for Dan Walker, but you still had a lot to do, and suddenly the ball was nestling in the far corner. Is aerial ability a, a strong part of your game? Half and half. I've been working on it, you know, at Stevenage with Teddy. Yeah. You know, he said that at first I wasn't really getting my head on the ball, but he said that I should take control of the ball, get my head on it, get across my man, and that's what I've done today. Yeah. You, you seem to twist at the near post and so. direct it, <laughs> while the water goes flying, direct it into the far corner. Is that, you, you clearly meant that was where you meant the ball to go? Uh, yeah, no, the keeper was on the, the closer side to me. So I just opened up my book, my shoulders a bit, got my head onto it, you know. With the the ball got a bit, of, it was a bit moist, so yeah. went to the other side. Right, yeah, yeah, and you'd already had a really good debut, pace, skill, awareness. Your, your passing it seemed good. Link up play with with Charlie Walker. What what sort of player would you say you are? Um, I like to. I'm more of a pacey kind of player, getting in behind, getting once I get hold of the ball, turning, getting at defenders. But yeah, if when I have a chance to link up with other players, then I'll do it. Good. And how how did the move come about? You arrived yesterday. Yeah. How how did the contact come about with Old Shot Town? Um, I was doing recovery with the boys after a training session, and I got a call from Gaffer saying Old Shot want me to come on loan for a month. Is that? I was like, yeah, that would be a good experience, you know, to get some game time because I haven't really been starting. Started a few games at the beginning, but yeah. we've been going through some hard times. But yeah, come here, get some game time, score some goals. That's the aim. Sounds sounds easy. What 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 are your early impressions of the club? No, good club, good stadium, good set of fans. You know, got some good working, hard working lads up there. So yeah, and good club. you you know another former Old Shot Town striker in, in Brett Williams. It, uh, did he say anything about about all the shot? Did you speak to him about about the move? No. Ooh. Let me switch that off. It's okay. Um, <laughs> no, you you not spoke to Brett. No, I was Brett. No. To be fair, no no one really knew until okay. until what's it after <clears throat> once I pretty much left. Only a few players yeah. knew. Okay. But, yeah. Fair enough. And the first half of the year has been really positive for you. You say you broke into the into the Stevenage first team. You. Signed by Teddy Sheringham, who, who should know a, a good striker when he sees one, and yeah. and offer you a contract. That that's praise indeed. When somebody like Teddy says, "I want to sign you." Yeah, definitely. Uh, off season, just worked my hard, worked my hardest. You know, asked me to come. Uh, last year they asked me to come back for pre-season and try and earn myself a contract. The new management came in. Teddy likes me. And yeah, this is where I am now. <laughs> and did it did it feel a natural progression moving up from? From Potter's Bar to Stevenage, you, you felt you felt at home there. Like that was the level that you were able to play at. Yeah, like I just tried to make my way through the ranks. Last year I was playing with Potter's Bar first team and reserves a bit, and then I got signed as a youth team player. Just tried to make my way make my way up. So yeah, and I think I think Potter's Bar signed you from you were playing kind of park football. I think yeah. I think you said, was, but. Even then, did you have, you had the ambition and the confidence that you were going to make it as a professional? Was was just was football just a hobby to you? No, nah, football was. I've been playing football since I was about seven, mm. just in and around football, trying to get myself as far as possible, better myself. So, mm. and it, it was always an ambition that you wanted to turn pro. Yeah, definitely. There's, <laughs> there's only one option. <laughs> there's only one option. Yeah, and hopefully in this month that you're here, all shot towns, all shot town will benefit a lot, but. There's a chance for you to remind Stevenage of what you're capable of. As you say, you started the season in the first team, yeah. been a little bit on the fringes with substitute appearances. It's They're keeping an eye on you, so it's a chance for you to remind them what you can do and that you should be in the first team back at Broadway. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, I've just got to come here, work hard, 
and then hopefully I can get myself back into the first team.